Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demo, I'll show you a quick introduction to the new scripting and automating features of Excel. And I'm showing this in Excel online as part of SharePoint and Office 365, but it works just the same on the desktop. So I'm going to show you a problem that I'm going to solve with the uh, script. And this script here is uh, not the old VBA kind of uh, Visual Basic for Applications uh, code that we had before with serious security limitations and concerns. But this is a new TypeScript base that runs inside Excel itself and uh, there are no security warnings about it and it's a much more secure environment. You can't do any lookups to the desktop, you can't do anything, you're just working with the content, which is a good thing. Especially when you combine it with everything else that you can do with Excel and of course Power Automate and Power BI, then it gets really, really interesting. But let me show you a simple example here. I'm going to insert a um, pivot table and I'm going to fabricate a problem here, um, which is a real problem that uh, you might have experienced and um, been grappling with. So as you see here, I have the same data in a pivot table. I'm going to insert a chart also, just do a pie chart based on that. You see it's the same data there. I have 200 people on support, but if I take that down to two, you see yeah, that's a more reasonable number, but the data does not update here. If I refresh that, then you see it updates. So that's, that's a good thing. That's how it should work. But users will, of course, forget to update and they will expect it to update automatically. There is a setting here in the pivot table that it should and update the data automatically when I open up the document again. But in my experience, that has been working rather, you know, not perfectly. So um, I'm going to do a script instead to solve this problem. And I'm going to put a button here to click the script so that users know to update. There we go. So let's uh, go ahead and do this now. I'm going to go into automate here. Um, don't need that anymore. So I'm going to go in and record my actions. There we get this tab here, record actions. And now it's recording. So I'm going to go into the pivot table and I'm going to refresh all. Yep, that's it. That's all we want. Refresh all data connections in workbook. That's exactly what we want. So we can stop our recording. Now we have that code. Great. Now we have my script there. We can go ahead and name it refresh all. And as you see, it's stored here in my OneDrive in the Office scripts. And I will add a copy of it into the workbook. And there are two options, add without a button or the default here is add with a button. So if I add in workbook, there you see, I get a button there. And so it's running now. If I right click, then it's easier to move it around. I actually inserted it twice, which is too much. So I'm just going to cut that out. Now, of course, the UI for this is nicer. So if I do 10 there instead, and then press the refresh all button there, and the data gets updated there. So that's exactly what we want. And of course, we can edit the text to make it a bit more or less geeky like that. And there you now have your first TypeScript running inside Excel. And you can just go into the code and see uh, the code that is running here is always called like this, the editor main function, and then you have the actual action. And this editor is rather nice. And um, if you have TypeScript knowledge already, you can certainly use that in here. And um, as you see, you get IntelliSense. Uh, so you have a lot of ways to explore what is possible with this. First of all, using the recording, of course, and then also with the IntelliSense. Thank you for watching this demonstration.